Freak Addicts, Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from all over the world. Look what we got today. We are gonna sticker the Target store. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm so glad you made it. Because without you, I don't think I would have any reason to be stickering this awesome Lego set. So what I'm gonna do today is I printed one fresh new one. So we got a couple new targets. And I'm gonna try to uh, utilize a couple other sticker sheets that just have a few pieces taken off of them. A few stickers. So let's get to it. We're gonna start with, as we normally do, the very front. Check that out. And my hands are covered in ink. Covered in printer ink. But that's part of it. That's all part of the game. So the way to do a good sticker job is to start at the top left, pin down, okay, and I'm looking at that line right there. I just want to get a tiny bit away from that. Once you have that lined up across the top, just kind of smooth, starting the middle, working your way out. I sound like a masseuse or something, don't I? And then there you go. And you know what? Sometimes you need to make some adjustments. Boy, now I really sound like a masseuse. Make some adjustments on that back. <laughs> and there we go. There's the front. And here in a little while, we're going to put a couple on the door as well. But for now, let's spin this puppy around and do the big one right here. Same process, rinse and repeat twice. So from left to right, we're looking good. Pin it down over there, stretcher. You know, you can, really it's whatever works best for you, but kind of like that. I've done this a couple times now. In fact, every time I've ever stickered a set, it is on video, so. Unless it's something that we just haven't released yet, you've seen everything I've done. We got a lot to do on the inside, so we'll do the checkouts. How about that? These are fun little areas to do, and we're going to pull them out. We'll zoom down a little bit for that, and I love this piece. This piece is so cool. This is the, uh, the digital scan thing that says thank you for shopping and would also show your total look how cool that piece is is that cool or what thank you for shopping and it's even in computer italic or uh, computer whatever it's called slips my mind at the moment computer font that is okay oh there it is the sticker disappeared on me for a minute. All right, here we go. Number two. Register number two. And look at that. All right, now, we have been blessed today with all kinds of Target logos. So, we're going to go kind of nuts here. Just because we can. We're not going to overdo it. Very important not to overdo it. And we also want to stay uniform. So whatever we do to one counter, we want to do to the other. In the same place and all that. Very, very important. That's not straight. Very important to be straight too. If you got them crooked, they're not going to look right. All right, I'm liking that. Cash register one, cash register number two. Okay around and get probably the most important part which would be the screens all right we're 
we're gonna go with a slightly different screen on these just because this is what happened to be sitting right here now sometimes these little parts can get tricky because they're on a hinge that can move around a little bit that one looks good now on to register number one or two whichever one this ends up being kind of tricky that hinge piece where it keeps trying to move really kind of threw some irons in the fire on that now for you diehards who follow our stuff you're gonna say hmm you gotta have the ATM piece in here which is not in here right now so um, you know what we could do let's let's check this out we got enough of these where if this doesn't work out it's okay I'm gonna try something that might look good might look good might not Just putting it right here I kind of like that if it was straight if I can get this straight I think it's gonna look good that's still not straight seeing technically this would also be on the same side that the customer would be you know what I like that it's kind of like not straight the other way now I'm gonna work with that here in a little while but I kind of think I'm on to something all right let's do this uh, same thing with the other one in fact see normally we use the uh, the slanted pieces for these but not all places have them on slanted pieces you know some of them are just kind of built right in anyway so I don't mind that it's too bad we don't have like a uh, MasterCard or Visa logo or something to go right there. Okay, and then since we've got enough of these, I'm also going to do this. I'm going to put, let's see, so that goes that way, that goes that way. So I think these would go here. What I'm looking for is the end closest to the doors why because the other end's got that you know what i'm gonna have to look at pictures but anyway so this here is the side opposite the doors which we know gets that this is odd I don't think the sticker's crooked. I think the piece is crooked. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Let's see if this piece is doing the same thing. Nope. This piece looks okay. So, there's the tops. Then, on goes the numbers. For example, we will assign this to be register number one. And these are circle. Circle. Which kind of makes them a little bit of a pain, really. Whereas if they were square, we'd be able to line them up better. But the person who designed these stickers is no longer here. So, darn it. We can't yell at him. <laughs> all right this will look good once they're all on now here's a little secret too when we originally designed this set it had three cash registers in fact we've got a bigger version that we're doing that is going to have four cash registers so we're going to have to go into the set and um, add some more add number four 
Decent, decent, okay. So, if it goes like that. Yeah, it's gotta go like that. So that would mean the target emblem would go here, but actually it would go like that, facing the door. Let me show you what I'm saying. I'm gonna take you all with me right here through the uh, logistics, because I know you're, I know y'all are into this. So, so it'd be like that facing the door and not like that. And I just can't remember. So, I could pull up a picture, but that's okay. All right, so right there. That looks right. I think we got it. My God, I think we got it. I think part of the goal it's actually a habit where both these thank yous are going to be facing each other. So see, and unlike, uh, unlike our Walmart, our Walmart's got the $5 DVD bin here. But with this set, we're going to have carts here. So we try to do something different with every set. For example, Home Depot, going to be totally different than anything we have ever done in the past so now this is register number two i am gonna pull all of these off the sticker sheet this here is where i really get the ink all over my hands and luckily it doesn't smudge the sticker sheet but inevitably some ink does come off because after doing this stuff my hands are covered lane number two I might end up usually uh, after the cameras off I'll go back through and do a final inspection and oftentimes I uh, I end up kind of redoing some stickers things like that and yes sometimes I even take a ruler to it it's just how much of a perfectionist I am Okay, lane number two. Lane number two is complete. We're not going to put this all the way in yet. But here's one, because we've got a sticker that's going to go right there. And it's a beautiful sticker, too. And that is this right here. If I can get it on. We're not even to the fun part yet, folks. Oh yeah, beautiful. Now technically, you can face this either direction. Probably technically it'd be facing the other way. But since people are gener generally going to be looking at it on this side, not the other side, we're going to do it just like that. You know what? While I'm at it, I'd get this big sticker sheet off. Let's go ahead and do the market. Which goes right here. You can't even see what I'm doing. Let's tilt the phone up. Camera phone. I'm not gonna brace the right side down because I'm not sure if I like that. It depends on what goes here. All right, so I don't wanna jump around too much. So I'm gonna go back to the area we were at. I'm gonna pull these two sections off. And um, let's hit these. So these get candy. This is the um, photo section, photo booth. Tell you what, when he designed these stickers for the set, I think he must have been having a sweet tooth. In 
fact, I'm getting hungry just looking at it. Why is this giving me trouble? And there you go. That's the um, um, ATM parts or the um, ATM parts, the uh, credit card machines. Come on, little credit card things. Go right here. Credit card swiper. This is for the customer service area. Returns, things like that. So I'm assuming Target must have um, a customer service area with candy. <laughs> okay, and then Customer service registers are going to be different than the checkout registers. I keep forgetting exactly where the phone is pointed at. Let's tilt you down a little bit. Sorry if that shook your screen and your speakers. Right like that. Add the mug. Too bad we don't have a little target mug, that'd be cool. Okay, that and that. And I'm forgetting the, oh yeah, these things. This, this is also a photo booth right here. So these little photo things go right like this. Actually, I'm not sure how they go. You go somewhere like this. This is where you get your pictures done. By golly, I think we got it. Because that's the one that bends over the side. Bends right over that desk there. And voila. Okay. So... That and that, and then I just realized something. I put a couple things in the wrong place. Oops, these actually go right here. Haven't stickered this set very much. So, and it looks a little different. Okay, there we go. So that's the little photo pickup section. And that goes right like that. Let's tilt you up a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw the cash register number two in. Make sure it's the same distance. You know, we're gonna have to change that a little bit. In fact, we're gonna change this. We are gonna move this one that way. So each of the registers are the same distance from the mat, just like that. So now, we're going uh, to add the stickers that go right here. I like these. These are cool. In fact, I like this entire wall. He really, uh, he really did a good job designing this. This wall, it's just kind of an add-in wall. I mean, literally, it's, um, you know, that's all it is. But just that red wall gives this entire wall so much depth it just kind of changes the whole dynamic so i'm trying to get a sticker off by the way but you know picture if the set was like that you know it just it looked kind of plain so it this really gives it character and then of course the stickers just add to it as long as I can get them straight. And voila, there we go. Okay, so let's put some beauty into this. And stick this one up here. Oh, you know what, that's, let's see. 
Hold on. All right, let's see if we can get this nice and straight without taking any pieces off. If you've seen the Apple store, you'd know that uh, I ended up taking a whole bunch of stuff off. So I'll probably trim this with an X-Acto knife, an X-Acto blade right there. All right, so that side of the store looks pretty cool. Nice and full. It's really gonna be full once we get carts and all that in there. Let's take a little spin around. Looking good. On to my favorite part, right here. So let's pull this out. And let's see. All right, here's a little creative tip. I want to get that out. So, there's an easier way to do it. I'm going to try to angle the camera so you can see what I do. If this doesn't work, I'm going to edit it out. <laughs> so basically, I'm just. Oh, yeah. There we go. Piece of cake. Turn the camera back. So basically, I pulled the set to the edge of the table and pushed the, uh, the bottom plate down so I could pop that right out. Little tip for you. All right, so here's, as I said, this is my favorite shelf. And why is that? Because it's got some really cool stuff on it. And um, let's see. You can't see it, but I'm going through some stickers. Looking through some stickers. So, one of my favorite things to this whole set is this right here. So we'll pop these out, and this is Bounty. And you may not believe me right now, but once I get this on, you're gonna notice this is going to actually look like a real double roll of bounty. In fact, he really did a great job designing this. I just got to get it right. I got to do it justice. Let's try this. I got to do it justice. Let's see. Okay, it's got to be straight. It's funny, I have never had this much trouble with this. Come on, Bounty. There we go. And you kind of put a little indentation there. And look at that. There is two rolls of Bounty. <laughs> is that cool or what? Uh, see, I can say that because I didn't design that. So, it's not being conceited, right? Okay, see, and we've got so much bounty around here. Look at that. All right, and on to another favorite part of this set is these plates. The Dixie plates, which also look real when stickered. So once we're done with this little section, folks, we are going to be ready for a cookout. Dixie plates. Okay, so we got the uh, the plates. We got the bounty. Check this out. I just got to find the sticker for it. Dixie Cups. So, the Dixie Cups, which you'll see in a sec, I'll pull it off so you can see it better. These are not cut straight. They're cut at an angle. If you followed any of our other stickering videos, you'll see why. If these were cut straight, you could not contour it just like that. So, the only reason I'm stacking them like I am uh, is just for leverage. 
So it gives me something to hold on to. So then we take that. We want Dixie to uh, be showing. And there's the Dixie section. And we need to press that down a little bit. All right, so we are almost ready to go camping. Let's see here. In fact, I noticed I missed them in that one section. All right, what do you need when you cook out? You always need some Reynolds wrap, don't you? Aluminum foil. Good old Reynolds wrap. I'm just hitting everything, huh? This is a fully stocked target. Try to make sure they're straight. All right, now we got Ziploc bags. Remember, right, these are a little more difficult. Because it's one piece and two stickers, which is a little odd. All right, almost there, almost got it. And there we go, so. That is the paper plate style section. And we will fit that right in there. And in case you didn't notice, I pulled that sticker off just till I decide what to do with it. So we got a few sections to go here. We're still having fun, right? So which section should we do now? Hmm. Oh, the bike fell. You know what, let's do cereal. How about that? Get a grip on the uh, sticker sheet there. Check out that cereal. I'm gonna leave the sticker sheet right there in full view so y'all can see it as I'm doing it. So blue for Rice Krispies. I'm not sure I've ever had Rice Krispies cereal. Interesting. The other blue. You know what? I shouldn't do it that way. Let's let's keep at the corners, and we'll kind of work our way in. Just do be safe. All right, getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm going to move to the far left here, no pun intended, you know what, I'm going to be very non-political for a second, I'm going to tell you that right offhand, I'm not even sure what the left and the right mean, and yeah, I'm a business owner, been a business owner of a few businesses for over 20 years, and I don't know what the left and the right mean. I'd say that's odd. I've just never paid attention to that. If I am correct, I'm going to take a wild guess. And I'm going to say I think the left might be Democrat and the, might be, the right might be Republican. Correct me if I'm wrong. But overall, it doesn't really matter to me. Although I did vote for the very first time in my life in the last presidential election, I really don't get into politics. So perhaps I should. Perhaps as a successful businessman in America, I probably should get involved with it more. But between you, me, and these Lego pieces, I just haven't had much time to do that. And that's been okay. 
<laughs> All right, we're missing. Oh, it's right there. Thank you for telling me about that piece. We got that sticker bin up there. Okay, there's the cereal. Look good? Well, if you like it, so do I. All right, the soda. Soda is pretty cool. Pretty cool little area. Got the uh, 24 packs of Coca-Cola. We got Mountain Dew. And if I'm not mistaken, I think one version of this had it where this was Sprite. Maybe it's the Walmart. You guys probably know more than I do. Maybe the Walmart was Sprite. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, stack thing again, as you know, just to kind of gain some leverage. Makes it easier to hold the stuff. We're making pretty good progress, though. And I'm going to share another little story with you all. Some real life stuff going on here. In case you saw the um, the video we posted about um, uh, the uh, what was it? Which video? I think that's the Target, not the Target. The Walmart, Walmart sticker, Target sticker. No, this is Target. What do you think? As I'm stickering this, so I'm not boring you. Is that how that goes? I guess that is. Dr. Pepper. Pepsi. I'm trying to remember what video I'm talking about. As I'm doing this. The video that just came out a few days ago. Well, nevertheless. One of our videos. And... Oh, the Apple Store. <laughs> how could I forget that? Okay, so... In the Apple Store video, um, because it was an Apple Store, I shared some information and a video clip from my um, iPhone, basically uh, conking out, we'll say. Um, I put it underwater to do a photo shoot involving Legos. Uh, Lego airplane to be exact and um, turned out it was not waterproof so I shared uh, I shared that clip with you all well as luck would have it they were able to fix my waterproof but not really phone I'm scattering pieces everywhere they were able to fix my phone thank you you a place called Gym City Digital. I absolutely love them. They're my savior today. So you know what that means? That means that the shot that you guys saw in the Apple Store video from above the water of me basically toasting my phone you're going to get to see a full finished production that uh, also includes the underwater shots. In fact, here in just a second, I'll grab my phone, which is going to be here any second in real life once Aaron gets back. And um, I'm going to share it with you. It's pretty cool. She went to pick it up. But you'll be able to see the uh, just a little clip from underwater what actually killed the phone. So, and to be exact, they had to replace the uh, screen and the um, charging port. But phone is okay. I dropped that piece. All right, got the piece, and we have now finished. The soda section. And with the magic of video, my phone is now here and check this out. This 
so this is what killed my phone. It killed this phone right here. And with their magical repairs, and uh, some money later, of course, I got it back. And uh, very soon you will see an awesome LEGO production that involves planes, boats, trains, and green screen. Alright, so let's see, this goes in that way. So, now let's do this section, which... This is an, a, an insanely tedious section here that includes Zyrtec band-aids, Claritin, all kinds of stuff. So easier just to pop the stickers off, toss them up here just to kind of get a little groove going. Now the rim of the target, <laughs> it's got about a million stickers on it. Okay, so Dr. Teal's, right there, that's not straight. I think this phone's probably shaking every time I move because it's attached to the table. I don't like the way that looks. Still might change that. Okay, so right next to that, another Dr. Teal. And you know what? Anyone out there is capable of doing stickers. First of all, you know, ideas are endless, folks. Ideas are endless. And with your wonderful imagination, you can come up with any kind of idea for a Lego set or whatever you want it to be. And um, just do it, make it happen, create the stickers. If you ever want advice on that, shoot me a message. We'd love to help. And uh, we've got a very expensive printer here. We've also got a cheaper printer here. Let's jump to Zyrtec. Da, 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 da. Claritin, Zyrtec, whatever you want for your cold symptoms, we got it right here at Target. Okay, some Ali. Ali Ali oxen free. Now normally I pull these off of here. Which, yep, I'm gonna do that again. Pull them off to make sure they're done right. And I got nothing to stick it to, but that's okay. I think it'll still work out okay. Ali Ali oxen free. Looks pretty good. And Another red one. These actually look pretty cool. I like them. So anyway, as far as the printers, once you, um, you know, get into designing some stickers, which is really a piece of cake, print them up. Put them on sticky paper, cut them with scissors, and get a professional cutter, either way, and then you can do stuff like this. Not a problem. Anyone can do anything that you set your mind to. And one thing I'd like to set my mind to and make happen is make these all one row, this whole row, one sticker sheet, <laughs> instead of all these sticker sheets. So there's that. It's not perfect. I'm going to redo some, especially that, but check that detail out. All right. Uh, so this set, or this side rather, 
Let's see. What does he get? Some of you probably already know before I do. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Oops. All right, you know what? I'm not sure specifically what goes there, so I think we're gonna throw a couple as seen on TV items on there. And they fit perfect. Check those out. As seen on TV. And if these don't look good, we'll just take them right off. But as I go through the sticker sheets, I don't see what would go there. We're gonna be super creative. In fact, now I'm pulling from the um, CVS uh, sheet a little bit here. Put some Doritos. Little bag of Doritos right there. I'll probably change that out too. At least the um, that bag plate. So here's what we got to choose from. <laughs> We've even got milk. Don't know about milk, but we could put some Gatorade up here. See, this should definitely be on. Yeah, those aren't big enough. All right. We're going to pop this up here. Mark it. Kind of bouncing around a little bit. Just to get this on here. So it gives us a nice and full store wall decor look. Stretch it across the top. And... I love that red. That's a cool looking sticker. And then, let's see here. We got all kinds of wall decor. I like that white too. See, we've done these sets where it's on red. That white's actually pretty cool. Um, Okay, trying to not jump around too much, <laughs> but I'm jumping around too much. And I do apologize. Let's put a ton of candy right here. Let's just load her up with candy. Because this really looks cool. Tons of candy. So, I think I'm going to take Doritos off, and put something else there. Let's, oh, hey, check us out. Got some gum. Sweet. Is the gum not cut? All right, well, here's something you've never seen me do. For some reason, the gum is not cut. So, what do we do? We make it work anyway. Cut the gum. I've never cut stickers on camera. So as they say, there's a first for everything. All right, now the trick to this. Are you gonna come right off? Oh yeah, piece of cake. We might have to cut a row of Tic Tacs off. Yep. Did I call that or what? Right down there. That does make a half a gum wrapper. You know, rest assured, once I give this a full look over when it's all done, if I don't like the way that looks, I'm going to change it. So, 
Okay, where are we? We're gonna stick some more as seen on TV here. I really think these look cool. And then, what's this one? I don't know, but it's pretty neat. All right, so there's the odds and ends aisle. So kind of recapping the aisles, we got soda. We got the uh, camping stuff, oil plates, things like that. Cereal, got the candy and the uh, as seen on TV. We got the medicine. And that'll go right there. And right here we've got some uh, clothing and on this, which I'm gonna pop out. This has clothing, like shirts, pants, some cool things like that. So we'll give it some shirts. Which one should we go with? Blue, green, let's go with this one. Not straight, let's get her straight. Usually on these sticker videos, we let the edits just go, which means we don't edit them down, which uh, typically means you're along for the ride. All right, another pair of jeans, blue jeans. And right there she goes. And then that goes. Right there. Now in our Walmart, that's the pickup section. Actually, I like that section better. Now since we've got a whole bunch of extra stickers, a whole bunch of these Target uh, stickers. So we've even got more on this sheet. I'm just going to kind of stick them around the set a little bit. Let's do this the right way and pop it out. Just like that. Oops, it's crooked. <laughs> All right, let's try a different angle. Sometimes that helps. Give it a different angle. There we go. All right, so. Yeah, that looks cool. So we'll stick one on the other shelf here. Soda area shelf. Just like that. Let's see if we can pop one of them anywhere else. All right, so now we've got this area here. So let me find the stickers for that. Here's what I'm looking at. A whole bunch of stickers. All right, so we're gonna hit this section here, which is home decor. Because of that big thing, it might make this a little awkward. Hopefully not. I like it how these, uh, these wall sections stand out where the stickers are at they actually protrude because they're on plates now our walmart set isn't like that our walmart set was designed and built before this one and the walmart set stickers actually just stick right to the wall but uh yeah this one's way cooler as far as that goes i do like the walmart set but as far as the stickers go so let's see, what do we got here? We've got some really cool designs. And this is also the wall that's got the saying on it. Very tedious. So here's something to comment below. Would you guys and girls rather 
see these videos with uh, like maybe some kind of music playing behind them? Or do you like hearing my voice? Explaining, telling stories of iPhones that get destroyed and things like that. <laughs> Hopefully I never have to tell another story about that. Comment below, let me know what you thought about that too. All right, there's, uh, we always share that saying, find your truth, listen to your, uh, listen to your heart, pave your own way. This life is yours to create. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, there's a clock. And what do you know? It's almost the same time. Get that right over the clock. And that goes... Come on. Stick on there, buddy. You can do it. There we go. All right, let's give it another spin around. And you know what? We can put, since we're shopping at Target, over here directly onto the wall, just to kind of fill it up. I keep knocking that security camera off. It's like the fifth time I've done that. So that does not look nearly as good as that. Compare the two. But I think it's better than nothing. I'm gonna fix that here in a few minutes because it's a little crooked. But you know what? I think we are complete. I do believe so. Ladies and gentlemen, Brick Addicts friends from all over the world, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Stickering the Target store and peeking at the Walmart store a little bit. Or, uh, well, that and I guess my phone and kind of saw a few of everything. So, if you like the video, please click that like button below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're into blogs and cool things like that, click right there. And if you're into awesome detailed Lego sets like this, click right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you right here very soon on Brick Addict.